why you are not getting the actual data job and how can we fix it i'll be talking about the real pain the real things what exactly you need to do and how you can get a real data engineering job or a data analytics job or a data scientist job or any kind of data job because the importance is basically how to basically explore those kind of things how to do those kind of things and it is all trial tested experiments all trial tested methods that i'll be telling you so don't need to worry about at all yeah exactly how you will be doing it what you will be doing it uske bare mein ek percent bhi you don't need to uh, think about it i'll be sharing off all the things definitely it can be harsh it will be harsh truth basically because if you are applying to 200s of the jobs and you are not getting a single reply the problem the thing uh, the major issue relies with you that is your mistake because you are not following the correct part it is not always about the skills ki ha i am not having the skills that's why i am not getting the job that is a prerequisite basically you should be having the prerequisite of the skills the relevant skills if you are going for data analytics you should be having the data analytics skill if you are going for data engineering those all skills i am considering that if you are seeing this particular video you are aware of ki ha those all skills are matter uh, 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 matters or you are having that road map you are in that journey or you have completed that journey whatever it is i'll be more focusing on ke how to get a data job how to uh, like uh, how people will come to you because i have seen those things on a daily basis people recruiters reach out to me from a very big companies from startups from mid sized companies from product based companies for interviews so definitely i can guide you on that i am a senior data engineer and basically i have been in this industry for about 4.5 years and i have been guiding and teaching people about data engineering about data domain helping the people for about 5 years now and i have that uh, experience to help you and let's start with the this so basically i'll be dividing this video in the two particular things first thing is the top mistakes that you are doing next thing how to fix these kind of mistakes so i'll be telling you those all things so firstly the first mistake is you are only relying on the theory basically how what is sql what are the ideal scenarios we are writing select query or what are the ideal scenarios where we are writing the where uh, clause from clause these all ideal scenarios you are focusing on no it doesn't matter okay the major thing is when you are learning the fundamentals when you are learning the skill sets first thing you go for the learning approach like only learning uh, like theoretical part you have learned now the real project shows if you are not having the real project skill sets if you are not writing in your resume nobody knows nobody have the proof of the work that exactly what you have done how you have done whether you have that capability to work on those kind of projects or whether if a recruiter selects you whether you will be able to make those kind of expectation you will be able to meet those kind of expectations or not that is the first mistake that you are doing second mistake is basically that is weak github profile or a resume and with no story basically that is what i have seen that people right now in the tech industry it feels like basically you are still in uh, living in 2000 uh, say 2003 or 2004 people are not having their github profile people are not having a good resume with a proper story because right now i have seen freshers are having so much of exposure freshers are having so much of knowledge about the road map what exactly to learn what exactly to do but if you are not able or if you are not having the if you are in that exception that you are not having a github profile or a weak github profile please make it today and try to build that github profile it matters a lot because you will be showcasing all of your projects at that place only other than that your resume matters a lot whenever you are declaring anything or writing anything or listing any point basically it should show some kind of story in a star format what is the situation you are you what happened then what are the task you perform what was the action you took what was the result happened like why you made those kind of projects how exactly it helped the business or basically if you are doing some kind of personal projects why you did that how you did that what kind of data you added that those all things matters a lot and that makes the game very different if you do those kind of things third thing is basically you are chasing dsa blindly i have seen people like running behind dsa 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 i'll say that it mat definitely the dsa is important but running behind behind blindly on the dsa wahan pe it will not help you so you have to do those kind of things blindly running behind the dsa and not knowing the exact road map about what exactly you need to study what are the differences between all kind of tools if you know, want to know in detail with my experience what are the differences in a very simple simple lame terms 
प्लीज कॉमेंट डाउन आई एल हेल्प यू विद दो काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज डेफिनेटली आई आई विल मेक दो काइंड ऑफ सिंपलेस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन वीडियोज टू एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट आर द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन द डेटा इंजीनियर डेटा एनलिस्ट डेटा साइंटिस्ट और अ बिजनेस एनलिस्ट और एनी काइंड ऑफ डेटा रोल आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू विद प्रॉपर स्टेप्स विद प्रॉपर थिंग्स की हाँ वेयर ए ही वर्क वेयर वॉट ही डूज अब एवरी थिंग आई एल बी एक्सप्लेन यू दैट इज वन मोर थिंग थर्ड थिंग इज फोर्थ थिंग इज बेसिकली दैट इज यू आर नॉट मेकिंग अ एंड टू एंड प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज अ वेरी बिगेस्ट मिस्टेक यू आर गाइज आर डूइंग You are not having an end-to-end -end project. You are doing just taking randomly some Kaggle data sets, working on those things, and directly listing some kind of uh, directly uh, taking that clean data set, making the Excel uh, visualizations or Power BI visualizations or Tableau visualization because those things look very pretty on the LinkedIn, right? You have not do those kind of things. Build end to end. Make your hands dirty. Try to code. Try to fetch the data from some kind of APIs. There are multiple websites from where you can use free open source APIs for free. Don't need to pay anything. Live data will be there. You need to fetch those kind of data and directly you can do that. That is. You are not building some kind of ETLs. You are not doing the SQL proper app or the cloud transformations. You are not doing or not using any kind of cloud. Those these are the tough four mistakes that you guys are doing. How to fix these kind of things? I'll tell you. That is what fix you can do. How to fix these kind of mistakes? How to transform your things and get those kind of data jobs? Let's get those kind of interview calls or the interview invites on the LinkedIn. Recruiters are reaching out to you. It happens. It is very practical. It is if you follow these things, it will help you. First thing is basically build. One to two good projects, end to end project with proper readme. Having readme, uh, notebook is there, SQL files are there, Python files are there. A proper workflow is there. Everything you have built, architecture, what you have built, everything, uh, screenshot and all, everything is there. And you post all the things on the GitHub step by step. You show your journey on the LinkedIn. That is very very important. Next thing, you write a clean, short and good resume, basically showcasing your real world work. Whatever you are making up, a personal projects in that also you can showcase your work. Plus, if you are making working in some kind of industry, in that industry, whatever you did, relevant to data domain job, you can showcase those all things. It is very, 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 very important. If you are not doing it, <laughs> best of luck, my friend. You are not able to. You will be not able to make it. And if you are good, good lucky enough, you can make it. But you will be not getting those kind of opportunities that you can get right now following all those things. Third, th uh, third thing is basically making your presence in right now in 2025 or uh, 26 or 27 in any of the year going forward. If you are not having that presence, if you are not in the market, if you are not visible, just learning the things, <laughs> you are a fool. B basically, you are just doing the randomly the things, and uh, uh, you will not get a result from the day one itself. Whenever you are starting, please try to post it. Helps you a lot. You will be the radar of the recruit. Recruiters, you will be radar in of the people in the data team or the senior uh, uh, VPs also here. I have got messages from the big VPs, PWC VPs, or any kind of uh, like MNCs. I have got those messages that people uh, if they are hiring, they will they, they reach out out to me for those kind of opportunities and all. Whether you are interested in those kind of giving the interviews and all. So how those things are happening from the day when you start posting, it is not about how many likes you are getting. It is about how much how much visible you are in the market. That matters a lot. And if you want to learn all these things, what not to do, what to do, step by step roadmap or step by step things, you can. Uh, I I have a data X bootcamp where I teach. Everything from the scratch. Personally, I teach everything. So, link is in the description. Go grab it. There is a coupon code also. You can grab it uh, before it expires. Definitely go and grab it and take the liberty, take the exp uh, uh, like experience and all from me. I can guide you through end to end. Definitely link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. Any doubts, anything you have, please. Comment down. I'll help you with uh, with those things uh, or any other demand you have of the video, any other feedbacks you have. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this this particular video. Thank you so much.